Hey everyone, I'm Mike Brooks. We are back in the Shape Your Future Healthy Kitchen with our good friend Chef Valerie from the OUT School of Community Medicine. This looks great. Some of it looks familiar, but we're incorporating tofu. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tofu, a lot of people don't really know what the, I don't really know what it is. So kind of sure. educate me. So tofu is soybean milk. So they take soybeans and cook them and grind them or you know puree them in some mm -hmm. way, press them, and then the resulting liquid is then they put an enzyme in there to make it coagulate and then it's pressed and then you get varying um, firmnesses or textures okay. of tofu. And so the one we're gonna use today is a silken tofu. So it doesn't hold its shape easily. It is very silky. It's great for desserts. If you want to incorporate something creamy into a dish, um, the silken tofu is what you would want to use. And so we're making a vanilla pudding out of we tofu? Are. Mm -hmm. wow. And so this one is actually a shelf stable silken tofu and that's where you're gonna get that most of the time is just like on the um, Asian grocery okay. store aisle. And then the other ones that you have are medium firm, firm, extra firm, and all of those. And we'll, we're going to do um, a couple more segments on this in the next couple of weeks okay. using these, um, these varieties of tofu. Okay. okay? Yeah. But the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with this easy vanilla pudding. And it actually has um, the tofu, it has a little bit of liquid, but that's going to go right in there. It's part of the recipe. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm going to actually show this to you. Wrong way. Right there. Yep. Okay. okay, so it holds its shape a little bit. It's very soft and silky, given the name. Okay, a little cornstarch. To firm it up, I've learned that, right? Yep, because we're okay. going to put this over some heat. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of vanilla. We have some almond milk, and when we tested this recipe, we did almond milk, and I think we tried oat milk, and we liked the almond better. And then this is going to get some honey, but you could use maple syrup, agave, and you could even use granulated sugar, but we certainly like to try to use the less processed sugar more. But they are interchangeable at the same um, ratio. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's just going to go right in, and then it's going to go, you know what we don't have? We do not have the lid to the blender. <laughs> Here. Let's just use this. Will okay. that work? Yep. We're going to go right. We're going to go. Okay. We're going for it. <laughs> this is improv. This is at its best. And it's working just fine. Okay. It is. Okay. So you don't have to do much to that. It's really nice and smooth. It's going to go right into a saucepan. And it's just going to, you're going to bring this to a boil and cook it for two or three minutes okay. until it's nice and thick. And then you're going to chill that, okay, oh. and let it firm up. So just like with any other pudding that you were going to make traditionally that just right. had milk and eggs in it, you're going to bring it to a simmer, um, nice bubbles, mm -hmm. the pudding is going to thicken, and then you're going to put it in the refrigerator to firm up the rest of the way. So once this comes to a boil, we'll do exactly that. Okay. But in the meantime, this is our finished beauty, so it is firmed pudding okay. and mm -hmm. then we used a little bit of the berry compote that we made in the last segment um, as a topping so it's a low sugar um, berry sauce to put okay. on the vanilla pudding. Go Can for I try it. Very yeah quickly? please do. Okay. Yeah let's give it a quick taste test. Okay I like that. Good. No it's really good. Very high the in vanilla. protein. Very affordable so this is going to compare I mean if you were using an animal protein obviously not for the pudding but for like chicken mm -hmm. or or ground beef this is going to be two dollars a pound compared to five six seven eight dollars a pound not even a question but this yeah. as a milk alternative also for people who have dairy allergies is a really good way to go. Good stuff we're going to have this recipe and all of Chef Al's other recipes on our website kgrh.com. Thank you again. This I like. Mikey Good. likes. Thank you.